What's going on everyone? So a bit of a channel update here. I have a few things in the pipeline. The first thing is going to be I did a collaboration for the top five plays on the Smite Game YouTube channel with Demon Machine from BLG. Um, so go ahead and check that out. I'll put that a link for that in the description down below if you want to go check that out. Please give us some feedback or things we can improve on. You know, kind of work together on this one. Um, had a lot of creative ideas, things we changed up and, and moved around. Um, so if you have any feedback for us or me or things that we can improve on in that video, things you liked, things you didn't like, go ahead and post that here. I will be reading the comments on the video on the Smite Game channel as well. So I'll be reading those as well. But if you want to put anything specific for me or things about the video, you can put that here on this video. The next thing is... The plays are kind of hard to find um, for multiple reasons. The first one being that there's only a few of us. Um, it's really just me and Demon Machine and like one other person who's looking for the plays. Um, and we have to be able to find them all. I know there's a lot of good plays that go on during the weekend, but we can't really find them by ourselves. Um, so if you guys want to help us out by uh, finding plays for us, it's important to note that they have to be replayable, which means the spectator mode has to create a server side file for that. Um, one way you can tell that if it does, if you go to the stats page, if it is replayable, it will have the little TV icon at the top of the screen um, on the stats page. So that way you know it is replayable. Um, another thing too is a lot of the top ranked games. Um, so if you know if you have a favorite streamer, someone that does Smite, um, and you watch them, and they're doing a ranked game specifically. Some of those will get re, uh, recorded automatically. So if you're watching a top streamer and they have an amazing play in a ranked game um, by themselves, go ahead and ask them if they wouldn't mind giving you the replay number or just ask them straight up if they have any plays they would like to submit for the top five plays because they're really looking for um, just better plays. Uh, it's, it's hard for us to find like the best plays possible. I know some of them aren't really that spectacular, but we kind of find the best that we can we can find um, for the weekend for the limited uh, availability that we have. Um, so if you do find a good replay number, try and submit it um, as a replay number and also what time of the video it happened and also a short description of what happened so we can you know locate it if anything's off or anything there. If you do find anything or you, you're talking to a, a top streamer or something like that in their, in their stream chat and they agree to send that to you, submit it to Drive there submit at yahoo.com i'll put that in the description as well go ahead and email that to that email um, with the replay number with the uh, time in the in the replay that happened please try to use the replay clock not the in-game clock so that the the one at the bottom there's gonna be one at the top which is gonna be the game clock the one the, on the middle above the uh the scoreboard in the bottom of the screen that's gonna be the clock you want to send it to because if you do pause it in the current replay system the clock will continue to run so that will go off if you're not careful try to submit it with the uh replay number the time in the view it happened on the replay clock and also a short description of what did happen in that play and that'll really help us improve the quality of the plays that we're putting out on the top five plays um hopefully you know if you guys really do like this uh, me and demon working together on this project um then we'll continue to do so every week and we'll pr start putting out some really good um videos for you guys so definitely help out with that um the other thing too is I'm open for collaborations. You know, I've been, I did a uh, duo commentary with Trendkill. I'll put that in the description if you want to check that out um, on his channel. He's a machinima director. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. I did really enjoy that. Um, and I did stream with Steve Schwint for a little while. Um, he's had some computer problems and I, our schedules don't really line up as well. Um, I'm looking for uh, a dual streaming opportunity with Pon Pon as well. I have, um, you know, applied to be part of the Smite Game streamer rotation on the Smite Game channel. So I'm open to all areas of interest as far as Smite goes or anything in the community, anything like that. Um, so if you're on a stream or you're on a forum or something like that and someone suggests something, go ahead and throw my name out there if you want to, um, if you would like to see me in that format or there's a certain area that you would like to see me perform or be around or be included in, um, then go ahead and just shout my name out. Just, you know, propose the idea to them um, and then just give them a way to contact me. I do rep respond um, to all platforms with my social media or YouTube or Twitch or anything like that. So it's very easy to get in, in contact with me. Um, so that's really cool there. I also have been shoutcasting. If you guys didn't uh, see me on the Smite Game channel, I did it last week for the BLG Casually Competitive Tournament 1, which a lot of fun. Um, and this week, actually, on Sunday, it was a lot of fun because uh, I started out on the BLG Casual Competitive Tournament number 2. And then like halfway through, apparently, the My Revenge Tournament Finals for January, they didn't have a shoutcaster because Lionheart couldn't be there and Bart couldn't be there, unfortunately. The tournament ran two days when it was supposed to be one day, so it was just like this huge mix-up, um, and it was a lot of stress on the My Revenge admins. Um, so I messaged them and let them know, Yo, I'm, I'm already on the Smite Game channel right now. I'm casting a tournament as is, so if you want me to do the My Revenge Finals, I'd be happy to do that. Um, so I did step up and uh, perform that for them. I um, got a pretty good response there. It seemed like people did enjoy uh, my casting in general. Um, so if you have any feedback for me as a caster in general, or if you would like to see me uh, shoutcast, 
podcast, anything else, if any opportunities do come up that you're hanging out in a lobby somewhere or something like that, go ahead and throw my name out there as well. So I'm trying to enlist you guys to spread the spread the word of the dry bear. Um, and finally, the last thing I want to touch on is I'm looking to create new channels. And what I've noticed is that uh, the majority of the people that are here now on my Dry Bear Gamers channel um, are looking for Smite content. So what I'm thinking about doing, um, and you can let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below, um, I'm thinking about making a separate channel for you know the generic content that I make for that channel. So I was thinking about making a separate channel for Let's Plays, and it's just going to be like Dry Bear Plays, and I'm just going to sit around playing video games and having fun with you guys, and that's just going to be a channel just for that, to me hang out and do a Let's Play series um, for the new games that come out. I know Dead Space 3 just came out, and I might do that. Um, I do have DMC, and I haven't finished that as well. I might do a, a playthrough of DMC, um, and I might make you know like a separate channel for League of Legends, like Dry Bear LOL, and just start doing LOL videos separately there. That way, for people that just want Smite, don't have to sift through all the videos they're making, and you know they don't have to ignore LOL people. I know a lot of people that like Smite sometimes don't like LOL or anything like that. So I'd like to just segregate that, so if, you know, if you want to find specific content, from me you go straight to the channel that has that content um, I also might make a separate channel for vlogs and then a separate channel for tutorials you know a lot of people say that I have a lot of random facts uh, or interesting things or I understand um, how to do processes or techniques for software or anything like that um, that you know just kind of weird but some people do enjoy listening or learning about that so I might make a separate channel just for tutorials or you know how I get my hair like this or something I might just make a channel for you know interesting life things like dry bear tutorials or dry bear masterminds or something like that um, so it, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below um, if you have any ideas for me or anything you like to see go ahead and put that down there as well i'm really eager to see what you guys think about um, all the things i have in the works